Hey guys, so continuing where we left off from other tutorial, we will log in as our user we created. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open up a web browser. Uh, it comes with Firefox as default, so we'll use that one. And we need to type in localhost. So this is our local web server. Currently we can't connect to it because we haven't set it up. So let's start uh, configuring our web server to work. So if we go to system, administration, services, and if we authenticate ourselves as a root user using our root password. Now we need to start a few services. So one of the services we need to start is called httpd which is the apache web server so if we click customize and per check in all of these boxes click ok and hit the start button and we need to say see it say the service is enabled and this service is running with a little green light next to it and the next service we need to start is mysqld which is for the mysql database so we need to do exactly the same thing Put a check in all these boxes and hit start. Wait until it says the service is running like that. Green light, good. So we can now close this window. So back to Firefox. If we go again, we get a Fedora test page. Now we need to obviously make our own pages. So if we go to our second desktop down here and open up a file browser so if you go to edit preferences behavior tab and click always open in browser windows and then close that box uh, we can close this file browser now and reopen it and we get a nice explorer style file browser so now if we go to file system go right to the bottom and go into var www HTML. This is where we will put all of our web files. So we would right click and create a new document. But unfortunately, we don't have the permissions to do that at the moment. So if we go onto our third desktop and open up a terminal by going to Applications, System Tools, and then clicking Terminal. So what we need to do, we need to authenticate ourselves as the root user. So if we type su, hit enter, and type our root password. Now we are authenticated as our root user. We need to change directory to the www one. So if we do cd space dot dot, enter, cd space dot dot, enter, cd space var, enter, cd space www, enter. And now we're in our www directory and we can type ls to list the contents of that, which has our HTML folder, which is the one we need to change permissions on. So if we now type chmod space 777 space HTML space hyphen capital R, which will mean we will change permissions on our HTML directory to rewrite and execute for all users and we're going to do that recursively which means it will take effect to all files and subfolders and subfiles within that directory so hit enter then and that's been completed now if we go back to our second desktop we should now be able to create a new file and if we call it index.php right click it open with text editor and we could type a quick php file just to get some PHP info and if we save that control S or hit the save button at the top and close the text editor go back to our first screen and load the page again we get a nice PHP info file so that means our PHP server is working we could also put HTML files in here um, any PHP or HTML file should execute fine in here uh, but you can see all of your 
information about the server now, quite happily, in, in a nice format. So, that is the PHP side of the server done. Now we just need to configure the MySQL side of the server. So, if we open a new tab by Control T, and if we type in PHP in my admin, uh, which, as you'll probably know, is a nice web interface for MySQL, and we hit the download button, scroll down the page a bit, and we want to download the english.zip file save the file OK wait for it to download and right click open containing folder so now we want to double click this file and hit extract and hit extract again and now we can click close on the archive program and we want to cut this so control X and we want to go to file system scroll right to the bottom again and hit var www html and paste it in there let's rename it to just something a bit easier so we'll just call it PHP my admin we can now close this window and we can close this tab as well and if we just type php capital m y capital a d m i n php my admin now we'll get an error from se linux most people um, will want to disable this because it's more of a nuisance than anything else to be honest so if we go to the top and hit system administration se linux management type in our root password and we need to change these three options to disabled and just click yes to permissive and we need to relabel on next reboot and now we can close that for now which should fix the problem so if we hit the page again we at least get a PHP myadmin logon page unfortunately we can't log on yet because we haven't set a root username and password for our MySQL databases so if we go to now our fourth desktop and go to applications system tools and down to terminal now we need to again we need to su for super user type in our root password and now we need to assign the root user for mysql uh, a password. So we do this by typing mysql admin space hyphen u space root space password space single quote and type your new password and end quote and hit enter. So that has been assigned a password now. So we can close that and we can go back to our first desktop and we should be able to log in with root and our password that we just set like that with full privileges on our MySQL databases so we just need to tighten up a few little security holes um, by going into privileges and deleting any 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 root and root uh, we only do it for the ones that have password as no or that one there uh, this is because it just gets rid of any users that don't need to authenticate to use our database now if you hit the go button and go back to localhost you can add users and do whatever you'd normally do in any other MySQL database I hope this has helped you. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to post on my channel, uh, leave a comment, or email me. I'll get back to you and see if I can help you guys out. Thanks for watching.